This is Game Night Live. WJBF Sports presents local high school football live in your living room each Friday night. Game Night Live is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. And now, your hosts, Ashley Brown and John Hart. And good evening, everybody, and welcome to WJBF Sports Game Night Live. We are at Barnwell High School, W.W. Carter Field, as the 8-0 unbeaten Barnwell Warhorses take on the 7-1 Bamberg Earhart Bulldogs. I'm Ashley Brown. Our entire crew is here, and uh, joining me in the booth is Matt Lane. And, Matt, this is a game, two teams that have a great season going. Last year it was a great game. We expect another one this year. Yeah, you know, finally football weather, the little bit of chill in the air. That's how you really know it's football season and just an overall great matchup tonight. Really expect to see a lot of big-time plays tonight. That's right. That's my rule. It's not football season until you can drink hot chocolate. At the game. That is my rule, Matt. I thought Lane. I was eating chili at the game. <laughs> no, it's hot no, chocolate. It's hot chocolate? Okay. Well, look, folks, we do have a great game plan. Can't wait to get, to get into this one. Uh, Dwayne Garrett, the coach at Barnwell, has had great success everywhere he's been, including here with the War Horses, really turning this program around. The captains are going out to the field uh, for the coin toss, and following that coin toss, we'll get our forward keys to the game because this is a biggie uh, between these two. So let's go down to the field for tonight's Gentlemen, coin toss. Shake hands with each other for me, please. Gentlemen, we have a seven-man crew tonight. The rest of your crew, Mr. Welch is your field judge. I mean, he's your line judge. Mr. Brush is your back judge. Mr. Curry is your field judge. Mr. Davis is your side judge. Mr. Brown is your linesman. Mr. Peak is your umpire. I'm Mr. Brush, your referee, okay? We played long enough this year to know sportsmanship at all times, guys, okay? Do me a favor, when you get to the end zone, Act like you've been there before, okay? That's all we ask. Good sportsmanship all night long. Y'all are responsible for that, okay? You are the visitor. The H on the side of the coin is heads. The other side is tails. What are you going to call? Tails. He's calling tails, Mr. Peak. It is tails, which means you want to receive, I do believe. Is that not correct? Which goal do you want to kick from? Where do you want your backs? Scoreboard. Scoreboard, go right that way for me. Gentlemen, right over here. All right, gentlemen, let's shake hands. Have a good half, okay? All right, there you go. We are just about set to get it started here as Barnwell plays host to Bamberg Earhart. Let's take a quick look at the keys to the game. Yeah, A.B., for Bamberg, it's going to be to take advantage of every opportunity in this game. Again, Barnwell, a lot of a lot of great size, a lot of big-time playmakers on their, their, side of the, their side of the field. So... And they're also going to have to force Barnwell to throw the football. For Barnwell, it's going to be to eliminate the big play and make them grind it out. Barnwell feels like they can win that overall battle if they make them have to do that. Uh, they feel like, they, you know, size-wise, they, they stack up. And then protect the football. You know, obviously don't turn the football over. Gives you a better chance to win the game. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the kickoff. Barnwell hosting Bamberg Earhart. It's game night live. And we are back at Barnwell's Carter Field as the War Horses get set to take on Bamberg Earhart, two teams with rich football tradition. We'll talk about that a little bit during the game tonight. Ashley Brown, Matt Lane, Nathan Edwards, our spotter and statistician, and the entire crew. Back to our four keys to the game, Matt, uh, real quick. We were talking about how the uh, Bamberg really has to take advantage of every opportunity they have tonight. And then also forcing Barnwell to throw the football now for Barnwell. Yeah, eliminating the big play and making them grind it out again. Barnwell has a size advantage. That's what they're going to look to do. And then protect the football. Again, don't turn the football over. You'll be in good shape. That's our four keys to the game. We're underway with the kickoff. Here's Bamberg on the return and trying to get a number on that return man coming up there. And it was number 12 on the return for Bamberg. That is Reese Ziegler. He is a senior. So Ziegler on the return, and Bamberg will have the ball first. They're in all white, trimmed in black and red. And, of course, the war horses in their red pants, the gray jerseys and red tops. Great, great matchup tonight. 7-1 and one Bamberg Earhart and 8-0 and o Barnwell. Both teams like to run the football. Bamberg does it out of the spread offense, as you see. 
And A.J. Williams is going to fake it and keep it himself, and he is going to be thrown for a loss. Barnwell ready for that one, Matt. Yeah, it had a little bit of a running lane inside, tried to bounce it to the outside, and it's just not going to work against us. Uh, the War Horse is running to the outside. Could have gotten a couple of yards, wanted to try to make more out of it. As you'll see here, ended up taking a loss on the play. Michael Gutty and, uh, man, good-looking sophomore number 51, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. That's right. Yeah, Very spelt different, name. spelt different. Now, Deshaun Watson, just a sophomore, number 51, the defensive end making that play for Barnwell. So the War Horse is off to a good start. And here's Bamberg on down, number two. They're going to hand it off. A little bit of a lane to the outside, but he cuts it up the middle. And that is the running back, number 33 for uh, Bamberg. That is Delil Wilkins. He is a 5'10", 180-pound junior. Bamberg has produced some great players in the last few years, including Casey Crosby, who's a yeah. starting tight end at uh, South Carolina, playing a lot this year. Yeah. And, of course, Barnwell uh, has produced a few, including Marcus McKeithen, who is 6'6", 330, and he is playing at the University of North Carolina. Dwayne Garrett, no, uh, no stranger to producing good linemen. When he was at willis Nelco, he had a kid named Taylor Hearn that's turned out to be a great one for Clemson. And we're being told that Mr. Crosby, Casey Crosby, here tonight, his father, of course, the coach at uh, Bamberg. So they stuff him on third down. They got a few yards, but not nearly enough for the first down. So Bamberg is going to punt it away here. Barnwell will send their return man back to just about their own 40. So they're going to get great field position. He's standing at the 42. They should get great field position. And the punt is off, and, man, it's a good one. High, booming kick. It's going to take a good uh, bar, uh, Bamberg bounce, and they'll down it just inside the 40 at about the 38, maybe the 39. And that's where Barnwell will take over shop on first and 10, our first chance to see the Warhorse offense. And we'll, Yeah, and we'll see what they do here. You know, we were talking about they, they would want to get Bamberg to really stretch it out. And take a look at the starting lineup here. Michael Lee is the big kid at running back. He wears Huge. number three. He's 6'2", 230 on the season. He's over 800 yards rushing. They've got two backs over 800, and that means that line's doing a good job. We'll be talking a lot about them, including their huge two sophomores, one at left tackle, one at right tackle. On first down, it's the smaller of their two backs, I believe, Karen, at that time. And right up the middle. Again, we'll see if Barnwell kind of – Leans on their leverage up front. Now, I mean, we're used to seeing them really run the ball, but when you have a kid as big as Lee is, you're, you're really going to want to run the football. Yeah, and that's Harvey on the carry. Harvey with 871 yards this year and 12 touchdowns. Lee, 867 and 11 touchdowns. You see how even they are. They spread the wealth here. Elmore's the quarterback, and he hands it off. There's Lee. That's the big kid, 230. And Lee pounds his way for what looks like a first down across midfield. Good one-two right punch there. Yeah, a great one-two punch. I mean, you're just – when you're as big as he is, you're you're usually going to land on your face. So it's going to take two and three tackles to really bring you down. You see right there, a great job by Bamberg. But, again, it's going to take a lot of bodies to bring him down. And Barnwell unbeaten trying to stay that way. Coach Dwayne Garrick's team, last year they lost this matchup. So they would love to return the favor on their home turf. Home of the War Horses, and they hand it off. This is Harvey. And he is going to be stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. And good play made that time. Like Nick Hughes initially on the on the hit, doing a great job of again just getting in that space, you know, filling the hole first and foremost. Yeah. And as you see right there, giving your giving your defenders a chance to come over and help you make the tackle. Yeah, fire in there and fill that hole. That's his job, and he did it there for sure. So they stuff him. They give him about a half yard. So it'll be second down and about nine and a half for the War Horses. Hand off. This is Lee again, that little misdirection. And Lee is going to have about two yards. So it's going to be third and long. They do. They can throw it. They don't throw it often. In eight games, they've thrown it 43 times. Elmore is 20 of 43, 492 yards, five touchdowns. But the key is just one interception. They protect the football. And that's a lot of times, you know, especially with running teams, it's a little bit easier because you're not – this is not kind of a 50-50 ball. A lot of times you're yeah. throwing it across the middle. So. You're throwing safer passes, right. yeah. But a lot of times that's all it takes, just not turning the ball over, giving your offense another chance uh, to, you know, to take it and get a score potentially. Now they fake the little misdirection. They give it to the smaller back. I believe that's Harvey. 
So they didn't even run it on third down. And they're in a position on the field where they may go for it anyway. Let's see how much they got. It's going to be about fourth and four. So they are going to bring on the punt team, it looks like. So the War Horses don't take a chance there on third down. Very interesting on third and about seven, yeah. maybe eight. They decide not to throw it. A lot of times you'll see, you know, if you yeah. have a, a quarterback that can sort of run a little bit to get him comfortable in the game, maybe get him running some, try to find an open receiver. But a lot of times the, the first drive is just to establish the tone on the game, kind of get that first one, kind of like taking the first strike in baseball, just getting it out of your system, kind of figuring the other team out a little bit. You see a big-time block there from <laughs> – well, Ty Frazier had a, had a low liner punt that was caught on the run, but nowhere to go as Barnwell covered it well. well this potential for uh, Augusta, Augusta Payne, Payne Center, Center hit of the, of the game, game early. Yeah, Jadarius Wheeler with a great block on that return. Well, we'll get to see Bamberg's uh, offense for the second time. And as I said, they've produced some really good talent over the last few years. And this is a senior-laden team. Yes. More you're, than half their roster are seniors. The game, very, right? You're going to find very few teams that will lose this much of a percentage of their team due to graduation uh, coming up this year. But they're having a great season so far at 7-1. They hand it off nowhere to go. And a good job again by this Barnwell defense. I believe that was 64 in on the play that time. That's Jackson Carter. So Carter with the play defensively. And you see him coming from depth, just filling the hole. Good pursuit kind of there, yeah. Seeing it wide open there and running straight through and making a sure tackle. And that's a 220-pound back he's tackling in Nick Hughes. Or check that. That was number five, Folk, on the carry. He's a 180. So let's see A.J. Williams will do here. He fakes it one way, gives it the other. And, oh, nice hit there. But the running back able to stay on his feet. That is Gainyard. Hey, look at his last name, Gainyard. And he got a few of them He there. got a few more there, yeah. As you'll see right here, watch Bam, uh, Barnwell kind of take himself out of the play on the fake. A terrific play call there. Really went well against what Barnwell had called, picking up a couple of yards. It's going to be third down and seven here for Bamberg. They run the little misdirection, kind of that counter play, same thing that Barnwell tried to run, and same result. They do not get the first down, so the defense is dominating here early in Barnwell. Well, the play before, they ran a great kind of misdirection play, so it worked the last play, but then when you try to run it again, again, it's kind of like this is the last thing that you've seen, so you're sort of looking for it again, and right there, Barnwell showing they were ready for it. Uh, they definitely were, so see what. And it's hard when you, when it's, you know, third and, and ten plus, it's very difficult to, you know, you only have a certain amount of pass plays that are deep throws. What Barnwell is winning right now, is the field position battle, despite another really good punt caught back at the 40 and good coverage. Wow, that is, man, that, that is a savior. The punting game right now for Bamberg really keeping a minute because the field position battle looked like Barnwell's dominating, but a great punt there well, and good coverage. You'll see this punt, great punt, but a little bit of indecision from D.J. Peoples here is what causes him to get tackled. Again, had his momentum running forward, might have been able to get past the defender. Let's take a look at that Bamberg defense. Uh, so far, doing pretty good. You've got up front, keep an eye on. We, we mentioned him already, and that's Gainyard, uh, one of the linebackers there. And then that secondary, a lot of these guys going both ways. A.J. Williams plays quarterback. He's also the free safety. Manigault's another good one back there at corner number 21. And you look, Blaze Bunch so far, the 6'3", 215-pound tight end that also punts, has done a great job. Two punts, and they've both been pretty good for Bamberg. The Barnwell offense is back out there. And if you see the two real big fellas out there, they're both sophomores, the left tackle and right tackle, and they are a load. We'll talk about that in a moment here. Right now the handoff goes to Lee, and he had nowhere to go. Kind of a different, you know, you can do a lot of different type of misdirection plays. With this one, you, you're really asking a lot to stay clear for you to come right back down the line of it's scrimmage. It's a slow developing yeah. play, yeah, and the, the defensive line. You can only ask that offense to keep the defense out so long. Talking about those uh, tackles, though, uh, there are two of them. One, They're both sophomores uh, for this uh, Barnwell team, and they are a load. One is about 6'3", about 3'10", maybe 3'05". Uh, that is uh, the right tackle, Briggs Curse. As they look to throw here, Elmore's got a man open, and he overthrows his target. Had a man in the middle of the field there, overthrown. Kind of into double coverage, a yeah. very difficult pass to pitch and catch either way, kind of a one-man route there, and you see why. Terrific size on 
on the receiver, but very difficult throw to, to make over the middle and drop it in the perfect spot there. Um, there's the right tackle. You see 67, Briggs Curse I just mentioned. The left tackle, not too shabby himself, 6'4", 285, Isaiah Williams. And, again, they're both 10th graders. So bright future for those two linemen, and they're in good hands with uh, Coach Garrick. Again, he's coached uh, two into the ACC as of right now. And in trouble, the quarterback, oh, and he eludes uh, pressure to Zelmore, throws it underthrown, and, oh, nearly intercepted. Nearly picked off back there by Porter. It's incomplete. He was trying to go to Lee. Porter tipped it as he was falling down, but could not corral it. So that will give Barnwell the chance to punt it away instead of losing cover, losing the ball right there. And, boy, I don't know I, I, how Elmore got away there is beyond me. Look, he was about to get hit, and somehow he – was able to get away as Lee lost his helmet on that one. Uh, Bamberg, the Bamberg offense, A.J. Williams, the QB, you saw him, uh, or you'll see him in just a second with the ball again as uh, Barnwell's punting this thing away for the second time. Both teams' defenses doing a good job, and for the second time, not a great punt, but great coverage, and that's going to keep Bamberg pinned back inside their own 20. We'll take a time out here. We are at Carter Field on the campus of Barnwell High School where the Warhorses are tied with Bamberg. Back with more Game Night Live in a moment. And we're back. Ashley Brown, Matt Lane, the entire WJBS sports crew at Carter Field. WW Carter Field here at Barnwell High School where they won back-to-back -back state titles in 1987 and 88. And I was going back over some of those guys because – we played the Barnwell baseball team. They were the 1989 South Carolina State Champions, and we played them uh, when I was at Evans. And we gave them one of only their two defeats, but they, they had a couple of amazing players on that team who are also great football players. We'll talk about them a little later in the evening as A.J. Williams tries to run the ball here on first down and just nowhere to go as Barnwell's defense doing a good job. Both defenses really playing well. Ernest Smith, another sophomore. This Barnwell team has a lot. That sophomore class is really loaded. As you see, Williams kept it on the QB read there, and he's brought down for really no gain. Maybe well, they give him about a yard. So here's Williams on second down for Bamberg. They are going to hand it off, and the running back with a nice little head of steam able to break tackles still on his feet. Boy, nice run that time. From Bamberg Earhart, that is Brown. And, boy, that was a terrific run. Just breaking tackles. One man miss, two man miss, just running through people. I mean, yeah, getting four extra yards after you've basically been stopped. He's just a junior. That's Keyshawn Brown, six foot two ten. Very impressive run. And this time Williams bottled up in the backfield, but he makes a man miss. Williams is going to be able to break to the outside and get the first down. That is our first First down of the evening. And, boy, they had him in the backfield. It was number 77, I believe, who had him, Graves. And also Hunter Webb, number yeah. 50. Really surprised he didn't tackle him right there, but just able to squirt out, as you'll see. He faked it here, and you saw 77 came in. 77 is yeah, annihilated right. uh, the, the, the running back on the play, but unable to get the, the stop. Hey, give, give the running back for Bamberg, number five, uh, Fault credit on that play. And there's Folk getting the handoff, and he picks up about four or five. So Bamberg starting to get a little something going here offensively. Again, nothing fancy with these two teams. They're going to run it. You know what they're going to do. It's just a matter of executing better than the other team. And right now, the perfect record of Barnwell is what's up for grabs tonight. Bamberg would love to beat them again this year as they pick up five on first down. And they run it again. Nothing fancy again is running. But that's a, another terrific hard run by another a different Bamberg back. They've had a number run it. That's number 33 tonight. That's uh, Wilkins. And just kind of showing you have to wrap up. I mean, that's been that's kind of been the story so far. As you see 47 there, but that's the third time tonight. 47's run up with a shoulder, and the shoulder ain't making the play. You got to wrap them up. Yeah. And this time, Williams, and again, making men miss. Bamberg with a nice drive going here. As they have marched into Barnwell territory, we've got a flag down, our first of the game. And Nathan's telling us that somebody didn't get off the field, so it's a penalty on Barnwell. 
And boy, Bamberg Earhart with a nice drive here as they could do nothing their first two possessions, and now all of a sudden they're moving the football. Well, I mean, sure, if you know, Barnwell's not interested in wrapping up, then great. You know, they'll continue to run We hard have the illegal substitution on no the defense. Yeah, that penalty doesn't is matter refused. if you hit somebody hard. you got to wrap them up, especially some of these backs. I mean, they're – even though they're a small school, they're cranking out. They got a 210 pound kid, a 225 pound kid. They got some pretty good sized guys running the football. You got to wrap them up. AJ Williams, the junior QB, as we'll have a timeout here on the field, I believe. Let's see what it is. The officials talking it over. Now we're going to get back to action. AJ Williams. Another great player that played at South Carolina from Bamberg was AJ Can, who's in the NFL. Yeah. And that uh, was a great player here at Bar uh, at uh, Van Berg. And at University of South Carolina. Yep. We actually talked to him a few years ago when we were at Bamberg doing a game. It's been about three years ago. He was happened to be there. And, again, they run up the middle. This time a good job wrapping up that time. I think it was 64 again. Jackson Carter has done a good job from his middle linebacker spot. There's 64, Jackson Carter. And you see him giving some instructions to a couple of his linemen here. And the ball rests inside the 40 at the 39. They've got to get down to, or excuse me, the 34. they got to get nine yards here. Let's see what they do. Rolling out is Williams. Williams is going to go out of bounds. Pretty uh, couple of holds there. One near where the pretty obvious, was going. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty obvious pretty call obvious. there. <laughs> All right. We're going. Well, there's the penalty. We're going to take a timeout as they'll mark it off. It is uh, no score here between Barnwell and Bamberg Earhart on Game Night Live. We'll be right back in just a moment. On the offense. And back in Barnwell, we're no score right now between the War Horses of Barnwell and the visitors from Bamberg Earhart. The uh, penalty is going to back Bamberg way up. They've got to get all the way down to the 25, and that penalty backed them up near midfield. They're at the 49-yard line, 24 yards to go here on first down. So first and 24 for Bamberg. This drive was looking good, but in trouble now. And great job by the defensive end. They're going to throw a flag. Must have got in the hand in the face mask maybe. Let's see. And great job there, but a face mask is the call. So face mask, he's going to get a lot of that yardage back on the hold. And they're going to mark foul, it. face mask on the defense. So we'll get another look at this here. Watch the replay. Let's see. It, look, it was a great defensive play, but you'll see here he gets the hands in the face mask and yanks yeah. the head back. That was a pretty easy call for the officials there. I think it was Desmond Simmons who made the, ta who made the play. But here we go. First down and a much more manageable 14. Yeah, it should have been a 15-yard penalty, and they only marked off 10 yards. And nice run here. It doesn't really matter because a terrific run inside the red zone. The Augusta Technical College red zone, Bamberg taking a visit. But, yeah, the penalty was only marked off 10 yards. It should have been 15, but Bamberg doesn't really matter now after this run. Right. Just a terrific run around the outside. Again, the quarterback doing a really good job of making sure the best decision is to hand the football. He's actually pulled it a couple times this, this game, but – like you said, right down to the Augusta Tech College red zone. And that was 33 to Lil Wilkins and I, again. And I really feel like on this drive, I mean, Bamberg has to get a touchdown here for what they've kind of the way they've been able to run through tackles, as you see right here, they got to get in the end zone. Well, right now, Bamberg just wants it more. I mean, they're running harder. They're making more sure tackles. Uh, this has been a great, great drive. And they remember, they were backed up. It was first and 24. And Barnwell, you know, gave him a little bit of a break with the face mask. But still, man, another good run. That was Folk. He's one of the small backs, but you'd never know it from that run. And Bamberg's offensive line doing a terrific job tonight. And these backs are running hard, but there's a good play by the defense. Getting in there was number, I believe, was that 80 in there? 
to take a look at that. I think it was, I'm not sure if it was 80 or, it, may, it was either 80 or 86. Let me get a look at who made that play there. It was 86 who made the play. That was Julius Arnold. And and there he is, Julius Arnold, who made the play there, number 86. So terrific play. We got a timeout on the field. Napleton Infinity of Augusta. Timeout. Game night live. And we're at the end of the first quarter of play. No score between the two, but Bamberg is knocking on the door. Matt, yeah. this has been a very, very impressive drive. We'll talk about it when we come back. Quarter over and back with more in a moment. 